Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Tommy Boy. This is, of course, the DVD edition known as Holy Schnikes Edition, which has all the extras right here. They also released this on Blu ray as well, but I ended up buying the original DVD ever since. But it's good that I have them anyway. It stars uh, two Saturday Night Live veterans, Chris Farley. David Spade, along with Brian Dennedy, Rob Lowe, Bo Derek, Julie Warner, and Dan Aykroyd. And it's directed by Peter Siegel, who went on to direct movies such as The Naked Gun, Freddy Free and the Third, The Final Insult, as well as films such as Anger Management, Fifty First Dates, and a couple others. So yeah, and I gotta say, this is a classic film that I would definitely would watch over and over. In fact, this is one of the funniest comedies I've ever seen, even though it does sort of pay a tribute to other movies that we've seen before, but you get the idea. So I'm gonna get back to it. The movie begins when a slow-witted, clumsy guy named Tommy Cullohan Jr played by Chris Farley, who just recently graduated from college after attending for seven years, earning his D-plus from a history test. His father, Big Tom Callahan Sr., owns an auto parts factory in Sandusky, Ohio. When Tommy arrives back home, he finds that he has a position of the factory waiting for him. His dad also introduced Tommy to a new brake pads division of the factory so he now works for him in his own office and soon Tommy has just found out that since his dad is marrying a sexy stepmother along with her troublemaking and dangerous son and both are played by Bo Derek and Rob Lowe so the next day they were soon to be married at a wedding that is until Big Tom had suffered a heart attack and passed away. So once that happens, the factory has been threatening to go under. So therefore, then they announced that Tommy must go on the road to sell them along with his assistant named Richard, played by David Spade. So basically, the entire picture of the film is that they go cross-country trying to sell brake pads for the entire uh, city, and such as Detroit, Chicago, and many others. But eventually they're trying to sell as many until Paul decided to do a lot of crazy stunts and threatens against them so in order for the company to go out of business. But, so once they try to save the company so they finally found a better solution that they turn out to be a local salesman in Chicago that's played by Dan Aykroyd to save the company from going under. Well I had to say this is a very funny movie I really enjoy this movie uh, ever since I've seen this on HBO and I actually did enjoy it uh, ever since. It's the kind of movie that you really want to watch over and over again. It does have a lot of cliches, I understand that too, and it does have you know, some of the scenes that sort of recycle from the movie Planes, Trains and Automobiles, but on the plus side, it's actually very fun. The late great Chris Farley, you know, who's very funny uh, as Tommy did a very good job in this movie you know I think they, they do make a good couple uh, with David Spade I mean yes they were definitely the best uh, on-screen couple since Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi yeah I had to say it because it's I, I think they were you know they definitely have more chemistry they're, they're definitely the odd couple you know sort of like uh, Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon that sort of way. But it actually works. They, they had a lot of funny moments in this movie. I really enjoy the scene where, where Chris Farley was wearing uh, yeah doing his own bit called <laughs> fat guy in a small suit. It was just it was just so hilarious that it just tried to it was trying to make uh, Richard feel happy since he's feeling very miserable throughout the entire trip. Yeah, since his car has been, you know, smashed. Yeah, by a deer that they just ran over. 
thought that he was dead, but it turns out he was alive. <laughs> it was it was messed up. <laughs> and then there were other scenes when Richard actually spotted a white bikini girl who was about to, <laughs> you know, take a swim in in the swimming pool naked. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was really interesting. There was also, of course, one scene in the movie which sort of has a a reference to the film Ten, where both Derek's character Beverly gets out of the swimming pool while wearing a violet bikini, sort of in the resemblance to the film. That was an instant plus right there. Yeah. Kind of ironic since both Brian Dennehy and both Derek were both in the movie you know, 10, which stars Dudley Moore. That's a, that was a good film, by the way. Yeah, th this was a fun movie. I enjoyed it. I gotta admit, I was not a big fan of the movie Black Sheep, but it did have its moments. I mean, I mean, considering the fact that Chris Farley and David Spade were working together again in this movie, but the film could have been a whole lot better. But the problem was, though, was that it gets t they had way too many jokes about you know, basically him just becoming an embarrassment of a brother. In other words, he, he was more of of just you know having a strain load of bad luck so that means you know he, he wants up being in trouble almost everywhere he goes you know such as falling off the cliff you know getting stuck from an airplane that's about ready to go and and so many others yeah it, it was just annoying you know, after a while I mean it's funny but but it somehow gets old real fast but on the plus side I mean Black Sheep wasn't that bad in, in my opinion, but I still think Tommy Boy was was a classic. I mean, even if it's recycled by so many cliches and so many um, uh, references to, to so many movies out there, I gotta say it, it, it was you know it, it was not that bad. It was better than most comedies that we were getting nowadays, you know, in, in today's generation. But this was at the time when movies like Billy Madison, Heavyweights, Major Pain, and as well as uh, that movie uh, The Jerky Boys, you know, they all came out at the same time as this movie did. Except this one came out um, in the spring of 1995. So I gotta say it was a good month for it because they had a lot of good movies that year. So I, I really enjoyed this. I say definitely check this movie out, especially if you're a big fan of Chris Farley, David Spade, and all the Saturday Night Live veterans from the 90s as well as from other generations. This is definitely worth watching. So anyway, I give Tommy Boy five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.